particularly when we're dealing with somebody who's doing a knee shield like this, okay, which could be kind of annoying to work against. What we're gonna do on a look to first reach over this head and lock my hands. So I'm gonna do my cradle, just regular S grip. Once I have this, now I can do what's called butt flop, which is from here, just flop to my side, which allows my hips to open up. Particularly if you were doing a knee shield, that makes it easy for me to step out of this half guard. Now at this point, I can get my knees in and put them here. For right now, how we're gonna advance to this position is from here, I'm gonna hook behind his leg, essentially getting it on one of my hips. Then scooting in, getting it on both my hips. So now I back away, I pass the leg from being a knee shield into the middle and then over to the side. So now his legs are fully trapped on my hips and tabled. At this point, I'm gonna go and shift so that my right leg goes behind him and now my knee is, his shin is pinning this bottom leg. From here, I'm gonna reverse the cradle. So I'm gonna come like this. Boom. And now I'm, I'm switching the cradle, okay? From this side, I have a very nice and simple back take from here and catching this way. All right, so we back up a little bit. So bottom guy's playing knee shield. I'm gonna go across the head, lock my cradle, flop to my butt, get my leg out, come here, hook behind the knee, back step, got the other leg. If I need more room, I could be meaner to him, just be careful, this position really sucks for him, so I'm folding him in half. But I could drive this hip forward, okay, here, to stretch out that leg to make it easier to hook here. Okay, here, boom. Get my shin pin, reverse my cradle, I sit him up, and now my hands, look where my elbow is right now, over his neck, I'm gonna move it here. And you also see my grip moves from being around his neck to under his knee. This allows me to get chest to back. I'm gonna step over on this side first, and now I'm gonna sit to that side. Boom. I still have my cradle locked the whole time, all right? Because normally, this guy is not gonna let me get this foot in the hip. He's gonna keep the leg up high, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exaggerate my pull and really yank on this, okay? And now, he creates kind of like a rebound. When I let go, ha, and that allows me to jump. And right away, I'll go right into my choke and look for a finish. Any questions? All right, let's do it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Hoop. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.